Why do sloths and also people kiss? Now bear with me. I took a trip to the zoo this week. I know it's a highly controversial move, but while I was there, I saw two sloths making out. And I'm talking like a four minute solid Mac like French kissing session. And of course, being the curious person that I am, I had to look up why they smooch. In my head, I was thinking sloths aren't as sentient as humans, so there had to be some biological reason for them kissing. And then I kept thinking for like two seconds more, I promise I didn't hurt myself, and then it clicked. There's probably some biological reason that humans kiss too. The clickbait stops here, because I'm looking out for you. Hello squids and welcome. I hope you are smiling, being productive, and working hard to accomplish your goals. I'm your boy, Timothy Bach. Let's get right into the smooch a smooch video. Let's start with the sloth question. Scientists believe it fulfills a biological function where during the kiss there is an exchange of bacteria and enzymes. According to the Sloth Institute, two-toed sloths also use kissing as a way to greet and show affection to their fellow hanging sloth friends. And so concludes my two-hour research bunny trail where I mostly just watch videos of cute sloths hanging and doing random stuff, but it was not in waste because truthfully the biological function kissing serves for sloths plays a very similar role to that of us humans. As for us humans, science is a bit inconclusive about there being just one specific reason, but the top theories are as follows. First, like sloths, kissing is a biological function used to strengthen an individual's immune system by transferring bacteria and enzymes. In theory, kissing is actually a really gross thing to do. <laughs> like germaphobes, beware. Apparently, 80 million bacteria are transferred from each person to the other every 10 seconds a pair is kissing. While it sounds gross, just like the sloths, this can actually help to build up your immune system, making both partners more resilient to illness. So next time your parents catch you making out on the couch, tell them you're just preparing for flu season. Second, other researchers reveal kissing can attract a mate because it allows two individuals to experience each other's scent. A study done by Swiss biologist Claude Wedkind showed that women preferred men who had different series of genes linked to their immune system than her own. This is confirmed by an online science journal, Live Science, who claims it's widely accepted that people kiss each other because it allows individuals to exchange pheromones, and that women specifically prefer men whose genes are different than their own as they lead to a stronger offspring. History also has the back of this theory because smell has been a documented part of human mating process as far back as 25 to 3500 years ago in India. Ancient texts show that glands under the eyes would let off a unique smell, and these ancient Indians would literally sniff each other's faces when trying to find a partner. Some anthropologists believe that over time this could have led to kissing, potentially starting as a simple slip, they would have had found it would be a much more pleasurable experience than just sniffing. Which leads to our third and final reason, that is being people kiss because it feels good. According to Vaughn Bryant, an anthropologist working with the BBC, our lips are extremely sensitive as they contain more nerve neurons in one concentrated place than anywhere else in our bodies aside from genitalia. Each individual also has a unique taste, and as gross as that sounds, it can also be attractive to the right mate. In short, our lips and tongue are packed with nerve endings, which help intensify all those dizzying sensations of being in love when we press our mouths to someone else's. Experiencing such feelings doesn't usually make us think too hard about why we kiss, and instead it drives us to find a way to do it more. All right, guys, I hope you found this educational, and if you have any questions or interesting new theories, let me know them down in the comment section below. Y'all always amuse me, and I'll try to comment back whenever possible. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Stay you, stay beautiful. I'm Timothy Bach, and until next time, keep your smile side up. Bye-bye.